Well, the online or new media now, and the Webby Awards, the leading international awards for websites, have been hailed as the online Oscars by Time magazine. They're determined, I understand, by the International Academy of Digital Arts and Sciences. It's a global organization with a membership that includes musician David Bowie, Virgin Group founder Richard Branson, and also the uh, Simpsons creator Matt Cruning. We're joined now by uh, Matthew Buckland. He's general manager of uh, Mail and Guardian Online, also co-founder of uh, Thought Leader, and has been uh, recognized uh, by the Webbies. Matthew, welcome to you. Give us the background. What are these Webbies and why are they important? Well, uh, like you said, they are the Oscars of the Internet. Um, they're a big international award for websites across the world. And, um, I mean, if you look at um, the, the, the websites that have actually uh, been recognized by the Webbies, they're big websites. New York Times, Washington Post, Guardian Unlimited. And, of course, the web as we know it, I mean, it's a rapidly changing environment. There, there's so many different features that are happening on websites, so many different trends. I think it's important, obviously, to have these big awards mm -hmm. that recognize and reward uh, innovation. on the well, What are those new trends, standards, or features? What, what should we be looking out for? Well, it's a, it's a tough place to be in new media because so much is happening and the technology is, is, is changing so every, rapidly. Every five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we've just seen uh, multimedia arrive on the Internet in a big way. And you found uh, uh, newspaper companies, you know, radio stations are starting to broadcast, like television stations. You're finding television stations are, trying, are starting to produce text, like newspaper companies. So there's a whole kind of convergence uh, trend that is, that is happening here. But it's also a new way of interacting with your reader, recognizing that the audience isn't the audience in the traditional sense, but your reader actually publishes on the same platform as, as you do. And I think media companies and new media companies that recognize that and are able to harness that are on a winning streak. Are they recognizing it though? The important thing here is to strike that balance between practicality, because it is after all an information or a business tool, and creativity. You know, it's interesting that you say practicality and creativity, because uh, at the Mail and Guardian online, we've just recently designed our website and our initial uh, sense was to go completely creative and off the wall and produce something completely original and then we said hold on one second it needs to be a practical authoritative website so we actually towed the line of, of practicality a website needs to have clear navigation it needs to be easy to kind of navigate and the stories need to be easy to read you know for the general users out there so I think you look at the, the like a general practical structure with pockets of creativity Creativity here and there. You can't leave your, your users and your readers behind. But you can't ignore visual appeal given the, the, the clutter of cyberspace. No, you can't ignore visual appeal, but it has to be presented in an intuitive fashion for your readers. Look, it's, you know, new things are happening every day in this, this medium. People are coming up, I mean, podcasts and vodcasts weren't around five years ago. We, 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 you, you were, we, people didn't know what a blog was six years ago. Mm. It's a rapidly changing environment. So I think you need to innovate and push things forward, but obviously within the, a paradigm of um, kind of uh, best practice. Mm. I, I was going to ask you the question, what, what's the website of the future going to look like, but I could perhaps rephrase that and say, what's the website of next Tuesday going to look like? Because as you say, that's how quickly it's changing. No, absolutely. I mean, uh, I'll actually answer that question in a broad, broader sense. What's the media company of the future going to look like? I don't think we're going to have specialist media companies in terms of a, a media company that does broadcast or a media company that produces text. I think you're going to see a media company that dabbles in everything. Um, why? Because we know, I mean, it's very, very cheap and easy to produce multimedia and broadcast via the Internet. Uh, the, the, do I think that the non-traditional broadcasting uh, media companies that are doing it are doing it well. I don't think they're doing it very well at the moment. I think some good attempts out there. But I think in the future we're going to see a multimedia company producing text, audio and video. And I think that's very exciting. Matthew Buckland, it's always a pleasure to uh, talk to you. Thank you very much for joining us. The winning entries, by the way, can be found at www.webbyawards.com. That's also this week's edition of the program. Next week we have a stunning new ad campaign to show you that will make you think twice about speeding. Goodbye. Thank you for watching.